Hello everyone, 4DIYers here, back with another tutorial video. Uh, now in this particular video I'll be showing you how to prevent your doors from freezing in the winter time. Now what happens during the hot and cold cycles of the cold seasons, is you'll have some water that penetrates to the top of the door, or even just from opening and closing the door, and what will happen here is there is rubber seals located around the perimeter of the door, and it'll either freeze to the door itself or to the body. And uh, this prevents you from opening the door. Now if you do run into this situation where you can't get the door open, uh, just a uh, just a couple of rules what I would go by here. Uh, most vehicles are equipped with plastic door handles now and uh, I wouldn't recommend pulling too hard on these because what can happen you can break the door handle itself or you can break the mechanism inside the door and that can be costly to fix. So normally what you can do is if you can just get it open just a crack here just maybe on the first click or whatever uh, you can fit your fingers inside here and maybe pull the door open uh, just by that method there. Or if you find another door that isn't frozen, you can go from the inside of the vehicle and push outwards. Or if your vehicle is equipped with uh, remote start, uh, sometimes that can help. What you can do is you can start the vehicle, allow it to warm up in the inside, and this in turn will melt any, uh, any ice that's frozen in the gasket and uh, between the, uh, the door panel or the uh, body panel. Now just to show you here what rubbers I am talking about here, this is the main rubber here that goes all the way around the perimeter of the door itself. So you can see, now it is a fair amount of area here and that's what happens is some moisture gets on here and it does freeze against the sheet metal on the door. Now they are located, some of them are equipped with ones that go along the bottom of the door and some that go along the top of the door like this is here. Now these ones you don't normally have to worry about too much, uh, especially with the, uh, it's got more of a textured surface on it so it doesn't allow it to freeze up as bad. And you can see here where the witness marks are where that rubber seal, that main primary seal rubs against the door here and that is where it freezes against. Now what I'll be using here is, uh, this is uh, just a product that's made by LPS. It's a heavy duty silicone lubricant. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be heavy duty. Uh, this is just a, one I had uh, kicking around at home here. And uh, basically with this application here, you're just looking for something that is a silicone based lubricant. And uh, what this is, this is rubber safe, so you don't have to worry about uh, destroying the rubber at all. So uh, Some stuff is known to dry out the rubber, so you also want to make note of that. So basically what I do here is, uh, this is just a spray application. Now I won't be spraying it on the body itself because I do, don't want it going places uh, that I have to clean it up after. So what I'll be doing is I'll apply it to a cloth there as you can see, and then I'll be rubbing it on. But first before we do that, you want to make sure the door seal is clean. As you can see, I've already pre-cleaned this. And uh, basically, you just want to make sure that uh, there's, no, uh, there's no dirt on it, what, uh, which in turn will end up scratching the inside of your uh, door where it does contact on. Now, as you can see here, I've just started rubbing it on the surface, and you can see from the doll finish, it does go to uh, somewhat of a, has a light shine to it here. So all you do is just rub it around the area here, make sure the shine goes evenly all the way around. And uh, you don't have to be uh, too generous with it, just enough so you can see it does change to a nice shiny finish. And even you can feel it with the touch, uh, you can feel it's a lot smoother than opposed to before uh, without the uh, silicone lubricant on there. And once you've done applied it, uh, you can then uh, put the cloth away, put the uh, can away, and uh, everything should be good to go. Uh, it's a cheap and expensive way to uh, prevent for a little bit of uh, winter uh, preventative maintenance, but it does uh, make life a lot easier. Now, thank you for watching this tutorial video. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them below. Also, please subscribe to my channel for further tutorial videos. Thank you for watching.